right, today I'm going to uh, kind of how to show you how to install this new product that has a, a port here for doing a, a clean out. Uh, basically, this is designed for uh, BevMax. There's two different versions of these, one for the wide machine, one for the narrow. Uh, today we're working on the wide machine. Um, so before you buy the product or start, you want to kind of confirm that you have this solid panel here in your machine. Uh, the older version, BevMax, is um, you're not able to do it. Um, so at the end of this video, we will list the serial numbers uh, that show which versions of machines work. Um, pretty easy, probably take about five to ten minutes on location. Um, first step, I'm going to go ahead and remove this tray. Um, the good thing about this, there's no wiring harness, so you're basically just going to undo two quarter inch screws. Then we're going to take this tray out, and then I'm going to uh, uh, need a 5 16th driver to loosen up four nuts to uh, raise a panel that's under here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. Um, nice if you have little power tools, and I recommend just kind of having an extension with a quarter inch drive. If you have normal hand tools, it'll just take a bit longer. Uh, just depends how many machines you need to update. And then these are a bit heavy, so just you need to lift it up. When you set this down, be sure not to set it on its uh, pushers. Okay, the next step that makes it easy, there's uh, uh, 5 16 bolts on the left side and the right side. And uh, I just kind of remove those so I can lift this panel up. Okay, so at this point I've removed four of the 5 16 bolts and I'm going to kind of lift this panel upwards. Sometimes if this machine's been out on the field for a bit, there might be soda syrup in here. Um, and other, you know, other, like this gasket right here can kind of hold this in place. So I'm only going to lift this up about an inch and a half. I, you know, if you want to, you can remove the back brackets. Uh, when I've installed these panels, I haven't found that's necessary. And then I'm going to, like on the left over here, kind of grab this panel and gently just wiggle it. Then I'm able to remove this. Um, you may find, I guess the whole point is being able to clean this out, so it just you do want to bring, um, like I would bring paper towels or a, a white cloth and cleaner just to clean this whole area while you're here, just so it uh, is clean when you start. Um, so the next step, I'm going to go ahead and um, insert this panel. Um, one item that I recommend that you have is this synthetic grease. So this Super Lube is a really good brand and it's safe for doing gaskets. So you should absolutely uh, you know, have this on hand. Most vending techs would have this just because it's uh, very useful on gaskets. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some of this on this whole gasket. I'm also going to take a bit of this and just put it right here. And so my next step, I kind of like have this little um, guide right here. Essentially, I'm using this like a shoehorn. Um, so we have these, or you could use your own, just a very inexpensive part, uh, depending on how many of these you'll be doing. But this makes the uh, installation uh, easier, and it's just very important that when you're installing this, you, you just take your time because you don't want to um, rip this gasket off because then the part won't be good. Um, I can go ahead and I'm going to remove this just because this gives me a way to hold it. So basically what I like to do is lift this panel up and I, and I kind of very careful with what I'm doing kind of kind of I'm going to push this over to the left and I kind of put this piece in and I only put it in about three-eighths of an inch but just enough so that this gasket right here doesn't get destroyed and I'm going to kind of gently gently push this. So right now everything's in place you can see right here the gasket um, is, you know, has not been bent or folded because I want a really good air seal here. So then very gently, this is kind of one of the hard parts, like I'm putting my fingers on the inside and pushing this through. Then just I have a really nice tight perfect seal right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and with my nut driver replace the uh, four or five sixteenths of nuts. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift the uh, tray up, drop it, and then the, the pieces of the tray need to be behind these metal flanges. Mm 
There you have it.